Mm-hmm. Up, see you. Okay. Take five. Not take take five. This is take five, as in the fifth time I'm trying to do this. Okay, phone is turned off. Camera is on. And I'm going to ramble because I ramble. So bear with me. Fast forward if you think it's too boring. Because I'm just going to plow through this thing now. Okay, so here we had the Segway Generation 1 stand. So I'm not going to explain how it works, but the thing is, with it's pretty safe, self explanatory when we're done. But the thing with these stands are that they break. So this is uh, what's left on my stand. This is an, a piece from an, an other stand that broke off, so they actually doesn't don't they actually don't fit together. It's supposed to be like that, uh, but the original piece for this one this is went under the my lawnmower, so it's it's not here with us anymore. Okay, so a few tips here when uh, disassembling this thing. Better to break. The already broken stand then to break the screw which I did it's here so they actually used some paste or something here to to make the screw lock into place so it doesn't unscrew itself while you're out, out while while you're out driving uh, so I, I, I destroyed my screw here and then I had to um, use my Dremel tool and then I used some pliers I suggest that you use your Dremel tool or some kind of uh, s uh, small saw blade or something. Cut out around this thing and use pliers because this is this screw is really tight fit in there. So now, uh, first off, I have to to uh, use my Dremel tool to make uh, a groove here so I can use ordinary uh, flat screwdriver to put it back in there. Uh, but we will come to that. So this is tip number one. Destroy this thing. Don't destroy this thing. Okay. Um, also, this is the new part. The, this is a 3D printed part. Uh, so it goes on like this. So I designed this thing and there are some quirks about 3D printing. You have to have it somewhere. You don't want to print things in up in the air. So you print it like that which make a problem because the original stand has this little, I don't know if you see it here, this little uh, black thingy here with, which goes round about here somewhere and it ties in with this little spring here. So, but I can't print this beneath so I decided to, I just made a little mark in the design here so you can see where it goes and then I will use a small screw to get like so to get something to hold on hold on to the spring okay also uh, you can see here uh, perhaps you can see here this is uh, a concave uh, uh, innards here not flat like here because this is the thing when you print something you need you, you want to print it like that you can't print it up in the air uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but this worked fine and I think for um, if you are using a different printer I printed this on my XYZ uh, Da Vinci uh, 1.0 printer and um, this is ABS plastic Perhaps this will work, perhaps not. It is actually quite strong. Uh, PLA, not so strong, I think is too brittle. If I had the possibility, I would have used um, uh, carbon fiber infused ABS plastic or some other uh, uh, polyester material uh, if I could print that. But I only have the ABS plastic, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first off, We'll prep this piece by drilling a little hole here. 
this is why I say I will just plow on because after I've drilled this hole, this is. I think. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay. And we will dry fit it in there. I need a small screwdriver. I have this. If my kid hasn't stolen it, yes. My oldest son, he's a maker too, so he steals my tools all the time. I think he has my favorite screwdriver downstairs on some project. So we'll have to use this one, and this is just a little bit. Italy, but it, yeah, it goes in there. So I think just about there. Okay. So we will put some some uh, super glue in there. Just ordinary CA glue. A small small drop. In there, like that. Okay. I think I will. Yeah. Um, in doubt, use your thumb. Okay. Where did I put the screw? Where is the screw? Screw, 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 screw. Let's put it in there. And my small screwdriver. I think right about there somewhere now. We have this action going on here. So this goes, I think, yeah, the longer part goes around. No? Uh, this goes here. And somehow this goes, yeah, like so. This goes here, and this goes here, and this goes here. So this string here. Now the stand will be out there and now the string will put it together like so so I hope this is right or else this all videos for nothing or I have to adjust this thing I have to move it but that's no problem just drill another hole and move it okay so yeah this is one all the other thing that is good to know this will happen uh, it will come together no panic though just turn it around a couple of grooves here couple of thingies here just put it in like so and put this stopper back together on top actually I think we will take this thing apart later on to get the string in here because so next thing is I need to make a way to uh, screw that thing in there again so this is going to be loud so uh, uh, lower your volume on your computer while I put on my safety glasses and okay. So, yeah, that's good. I won't, I will leave this over here to cool off. Okay, so, I will leave it in the fire so I know, don't touch. Okay, so far, so good. Safety glasses off, and... Let's see what else we have here. Oh, yeah. So this thing is connected 
from from this thing to this thing with this thing and this is not reusable you have to cut it off so this is the length of it but I thought I'd just use some uh, polyester thread with a bead <laughs> on the end of it uh, this is not as a nice solution that they have here at Segway done, but hey, this is amateur hour, right? As long as it works, that's the main thing, okay? So I had another bead here, so we have to put it in here first, and I believe it went in like so. So now we have a when in doubt use your teeth. No, we'll have to burn this thing a little bit more in the end and then flatten it as fast as I can. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. But that's sharp. Okay. Let's try again. Wait. Like so. Now we want approximately the same length of material here. So, I believe... Okay, first off, I think I will put... I will put a mark marker so I cut this just behind the stopper here on this side and I just need a magic a magic marker or at least a marker is no as magic about it and I will mark out where I want that as you can see I have re rehearsed this video many 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 times so we will do it like this we will put it on the on the side here no. that and then we will go on the on the side of this like so and then we have our little bead our little bead 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 like so and I would just make a small knot right about just about it i will leave it there so if if some if we get a problem yeah that's better just a knot there and the bead to stop it so it won't go out and i think that's actually quite strong so this is how it works so when you uh, press this thing out like so you press the stand out and then you can drag the stand back and then the spring will hold it hold it up there okay so I hope this will work so now you just have to um, put the screw in let's see if it's yeah it's get that's cool off. so just put the thing in there and like so. no you see it's even hard to get it in there Perhaps you need to do this that I did. Oh, can't get it. Uh, this is this is hard. This is tough. Okay. There is no risk that this thing is going to. Okay, so I will revise my 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 advice for. If you have a Dremel tool or some some kind of small drill just make a score in the thing don't even try to use the original thing uh, original uh, text there because or uh, insert it because it's it will break it's just a one-time use for the for the factory so 
but this is yep this is quite sturdy so make a score if you have a dremel tool make a score use a flat screwdriver unscrew it with that <coughs> okay now it's really in there okay and this fell apart again as I told it will, it will fall apart again and again and again and again and it, that's the way it goes so now we have the now we have the stringy bit here we we'll put on the I think here I will need something to get it over there yep so let's see what we have here so we have stand is pulled out and it's out there and then it's pulled back pull out pull back pull out pull back and i'm actually quite happy with that let's mount it on the segway and see what we have uh, but of course that will be the next video because i have my segway at work right now so we'll just cut this thing off here with um, some pliers, like so. Yes, and as I am a friend of order, we'll just tap it off like that. Okay, I'm quite happy with this. So. Of course, this won't fall out all the time when we have it mounted on the Segway. This is... You can't stop with watching now. This is just me rambling. But... Like so. Okay, I'm quite happy with this. Let's hope it works. Thank you for watching and... Uh, if you want to see how to... Uh, uh, unmount the stand from the Segway and uh, to mount it back uh, then subscribe uh, I will soon have that video out thank you and goodbye